it's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Excellent. I think sometimes my head just muffles my voice when I leave this bag there. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. My name is Christine, and I'm live from a very sunny Gloucester today. Uh, it's lovely to be here. Uh, today, we have a different question. Today's question is about communication skills. So we're going to look at the importance of communication skills. Uh, now, I want you to think about um, the importance of this skill in your life. So in your general life, in your in your work life, um, what, you know, how much you actually use communication skills. Um, maybe do you need to improve them? Do you think you're great? Um, so I'd like to hear um, about the importance of this skill. So let's start off with Ananya. And... Uh, We'll start off with you. So can you please introduce yourself and uh, tell us a bit about your day, please? And then we'll move on to today's question. Yes, yeah, sure. Hi, Christine. Hi, everyone. This is Ananya. And uh, I am currently pursuing my MBA from ICFI Business School, Hyderabad. And uh, my day was pretty normal as it goes. The weekdays are full of classes and events and all the assignments and tasks. That's it. And I just returned from my classes. I joined the meet and this is how it go going. And as you said, Christine, how the question goes like how communication skills is important to anyone. Then I think it's very important because it gives you clarity, right? Uh, the thing you want to convey and the receiver has to receive it perfectly. What you want to convey and what he receives shouldn't be different. Otherwise, there might, might be misunderstanding. There might be so much of, uh, you know, frustration getting over. So I think communication skills is very important. And when it comes to corporate, I think uh, it is a vital part. As, uh, you know, uh, when you're working as an individual, it makes you very productive. You do your work better. You communicate with other people in a better way. And when you are doing a group task, it becomes very easy to communicate with your team members. And it becomes very easy to, you know, throw your opinions. And uh, even they uh, tell, your, uh, tell their opinions to you. So I think communication skills just play a very vital role in everybody's life. So, yeah, that's all from my side. Excellent. Very, very good. And what do you do? Do you do anything in particular um, to improve your communication skills? Like, do you do things um, maybe not on a daily basis, but from time to time to um, get to improve your skills? In yes. communication. I think uh, I have gotten the communication skills right and I'm trying to improve it uh, by reading. I think I read um, and mostly it's not very fancy to read, uh, go and read something very fancy book or something, but you can start with the newspaper. I think that's the very uh, easiest way to learn new things. And, and uh, plus you're getting all the information which is very much required about the world itself so that mm -hmm. um, does both the work it also improves the communication skill i get to know about 10 words i think i make a 10 word list every day so that is very important i have uh, upskilled myself with that reading the newspaper so yeah okay so so but how how does that improve your communication skills in particular so reading the new, the newspaper yes so in particular i'll say it just uh you know enhances the vocabulary for mm -hmm. me. and uh, later on uh, i get to learn uh, new things like you know showing gestures to people showing the right gestures to people letting them uh, you know uh, understanding what they want to hear and what i am speaking so i think that makes it pretty, uh, pretty clear that you know we are having a good conversation or something Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next, we'll go to Sushitra. Hi, Sushitra. Hi, good evening. Hi. You're I got it. Yes, yeah, you're right. You got I, my name. I got it right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, Sushitra. Can you please um, introduce yourself to everyone and tell us a bit about your day? Sure. Uh, so, my name is Sushitra. I'm a South Indian coming from Andhra Pradesh. I'm doing my MBA um, in semester two. 
mm-hmm. doing my MBA in, uh, from uh, Business School, Hyderabad. Uh, so my day started with the uh, academics, obviously, because I'm a full-time MBA student and mm-hmm. ends by your class. And also I'm working on a uh, live project uh, parallelly. So ends with that. So it was a normal basic day where I have to be present in all the classes and stuff. Uh, so that's that. Excellent. Very good. So what is the importance of uh, communication <laughs> skills? Uh, so what I feel is communication is a very crucial part in everyone's life because we are social beings after all. Uh, and also, um, uh, I guess uh, uh, I want to erase this uh, preconceived notion where people uh, confuse communication with the language barrier. But uh, mm-hmm. uh, I feel uh, what I believe is uh, language is a very different part and also communication. Communication is basically expressing your ideas and opinions and uh, also it's a two-way process basically and listening to others, etc. So I guess, uh, so we are going to work in a corporate world. Uh, communication plays a very major role in uh, enhancing our skills, etc. Because uh, mm-hmm. we work with people on daily basis. So that's how I feel uh, the importance of communication is right now. Excellent. Very good. Very good. And how, so, so you, like you said, you work with people on a daily basis. So um, but what do you do to improve um, your own communication skills what are the things that you do uh i uh, yeah i used to have this uh, problem uh, where i feel intimidated with people and uh, on daily life so i started listening to podcasts and also i was try- i'm trying to you know uh, putting out my ideas i still if you notice me i still stumble upon my words uh, so I'm still uh, in the learning stage. So I value our communication a lot. Uh, I improve, I enhance by listening to others. And uh, I mean, I I learn from the abstract world, basically, to improve my communication. Because in abstract world, where people uh, can be very poetic, etc., with a, whatever the understand, understanding is uh, with regard to the specific acts acts but like uh environment n- nature etc so i learn from the abstract world and podcasts etc uh so this is this is what my learning is okay very good excellent excellent and where do you think your com- these communication skills are going to serve you in the future uh in what aspect so um maybe in your in your job do, do you maybe in, in in different do you plan on maybe doing something else with your job or maybe uh, changing jobs do you think that by are you going to expand your horizons by improving your communication skills is there is there a plan to change anything uh yes uh, mm-hmm. for the communication part yes i always look for the improvement when it comes to communication because uh, uh, generally in any, everyone's brain uh, a lot of ideas run which are basically very effective if they come into the real world but the problem mm-hmm. is uh, because of I don't know maybe because of the barriers etc they won't be able to present uh, the ideas which are running in the brain so I guess uh, I want to expand my horizons uh, with regard to the communication and also I look for constant and uh, eventual improvement when it comes. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Um, brilliant. So let's move on to action now. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Aksha. Good evening, Hi, good evening. So, Aksha, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Yes, I'm myself, Aksha Ardev. I'm coming from Kerala and I'm currently pursuing my MBA in IBS Hyderabad. And today was a normal day. I had my classes from morning till evening. And my health is also not so well, so I'm not in a great energy today. Little bit lazy. 
yeah that's about the day excellent a very good one lazy is always um well sometimes it's it's it's, it's, it's always relaxing I suppose. Yes, yes. um so let's start off um with today's question so what is the importance of uh, communication uh, communication skills what's the importance uh I have, uh, like, I have known the importance when I was in my graduation, actually. Like, mm -hmm. uh, till that time, I was in Kerala. And English and Malayalam, I, like, uh, fluently in Malayalam. And English, I knew, but I didn't talk much or uh, spoken much. But when I joined the college, it was out of Kerala, like, my, uh, my place. And I had to talk in English and Hindi. And Hindi was a bit new. I did, I knew to write and read, but not really to communicate. So from that moment, I understand like the importance of communication actually, because my friends were from different places. My teachers were from different places. So if you want to say something which is running in your mind, actually, you need to say it and they must understand it. Actually, what we are saying in that sense only. Like if some words are changed, uh, like the whole sentence, like grammar mistakes and things will come. So whole meaning changes. So I understand the value of communication at that moment. And I was doing my uh, degree in tourism, like service industry. And when I went for my internship also there, I faced like people coming from different sides, like side, like places, like different, uh, like in India, many languages are there, as you know. So many people were coming and they might not know English, they might not know like Malayalam, they might not know Hindi properly. Like I too don't know much to talk uh, that time. Then I gradually improved by talking to people only actually. Uh, I tried to talk, if it was wrong also I talk, then they will correct me. Actually my friends helped me, my faculties helped me to talk. Like if any grammar mistakes or anything happens they help me and i improve like i can see my like from 2019 till now how i improve my communication skill like my friends and the faculties like help me to that very good very good and what do you plan to do with the the your your skills of communication uh later later on uh, are you planning uh, to do something by improving your skills, are you planning maybe to change your job or I don't know to change your position? What, is there something that you are planning to do in your career? I want to stay in service industry. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I I know I will help me more. Like communication skill, knowing new languages will help me to get good communication. Will help me anyway in my future. I think so. If, from my pre previous experience. So that I can improve my connections with people and can display my uh, inner thoughts and things like whatever I think I can convey to them. So I feel communication will help me in my future. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mom. Okay, next we'll move on to Sangram. Hi, Sangram. Hello, ma'am. Hi, Sangram. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Okay, myself, Sangram, living in Mumbai, working as an HR recruiter, completed my graduation in BSc IT, and then after that, I have done my graduation in MCA, getting master's in computer application, and currently pursuing the post graduation diploma in HR. So, my day was just a normal day. I went to the office. Then I did my HR related some work, and after that, I am returning home right now. Excellent, very good. Um, so mm -hmm. can you, um, Sangram, tell us the importance of communication skills? What is the importance of okay. communication? Like, skills? Uh, communication can be called as a way to convey a message, or else you can say to get knowledge or information or get, uh. For example, like as an HR recruiter, I talk to many candidates daily. They also share their information or story with me. So I get to know about them also. 
So it's like uh, sharing of information between persons also and getting to know about them also. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So there is sharing of information. What else is important when we're communicating? Like what, what... sometimes there are candidates, like if they get a call from HR, sometimes they get spammer. So the, whenever they are stammering, so uh, the, then we also, as an HR, we know, then we let them speak them in. We let we tell them to speak in the natural language. We can speak in any other language that they know. So sometimes they stammer a lot. But some, there are some candidates like if an HR calls, so they get stammered. Like on the spot, they can't speak anything. As they are, they may be working somewhere. The person who are there. So that's why the so communication is an uh, important thing. Like for example, if I am working somewhere. And I got a call from another company, from another HR. So I should be the person who can speak to the question very fast. Like if they ask me any question, I should respond to it correctly and properly. So okay. communication barrier comes in between. Like sometimes the candidates also get scared and all. Okay. Good, Sangram. Thank you very much, Sangram. Thank you. Okay. And... Next, we have Gayathri. Hi, Gayathri. Hi, Christine. Hello. Hi, Gayathri. Good evening. Uh, can you please introduce yourself to everyone and tell us a bit about your day? Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Gayathri Rajiv. I'm from Kerala, India. Currently, I am pursuing my post-graduation degree in uh, MBA. Uh, uh, from ICFI Business School, Hyderabad. Um, my day, uh, it was very tiring. I had classes from morning till evening. Then I had events. I mean, I was participating in an event conducted by another club. And I won. I got a gift voucher also. <laughs> oh, very good. Excellent. <laughs> so I'm uh, right back after I rushed from there to attend this. Mm -hmm. That's oh, it. To be with us. Oh, thank you very much. Um, so, uh, can you can you tell us what is the importance uh, of communication skills? Importance of uh, communication skills. Communication skills. Why, why are communication skills important? Um, I have heard that the uh, world consists of uh, people that have a lot to say and but can't, but they are not able. Mm -hmm. to. So I feel mm -hmm. that it all begins with communication. You know, the uh, way you communicate with your peers or colleagues reflects a lot uh, about your personality, attitude, etc. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's how important communication skill is. Like, for example, if you are in an interview and uh, how much ever conceptual knowledge you have or how much ever talent you have, if you are not able to communicate to the panel with them, uh, then everything is in vain. No, all you have is like a few minutes in uh, where you can, you know, communicate your uh, whatever you talent you have to convince them. You, mm -hmm. you do not have a day to, you know, prove yourself that you got the talent or you got the conceptual knowledge. So it's all about the communication skill that works there. So the lack of communication skill can even cost your career. So that is how important communication skill is. Excellent. Very good. Um, okay. So what about you? What do you do every day to transfer, to Im improve your, your communication skills? Um, improve, I guess uh, this class itself is a, uh, Evident that I'm trying to improve my communication skill because I'm trying to attend it almost every day. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, um, I guess uh, reading helps a lot in improving the communication skill. And it's not just about reading. Uh, like the, like four things comes under communication. No? Um, reading, speaking, listening, and writing also. So mm -hmm. practice. Practice makes a man perfect. So how much more you do all these four things that much uh, effective you can uh, make it okay very good very good um 
Okay, so what I'm going to ask you guys to do now is to have a have a little think about what you know what you've heard in this class, and if you have any comments or anything you'd like to add or anything that you found interesting, you agree with, disagree with. Um, so I'd like you all have a moment because we have enough minutes to do this to get a bit of a group feedback. So um, have a little think about what each of you have said. And if you have some comments that you'd like to share, I'd like you to share them with the class um, now, please. So anyone has anything they'd like to add? I'm really sorry. I joined very late, so I. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, any of the others have anything else that they'd like to add that they'd like to say? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mention a few points. Um, regarding the importance of communication skills. And then I would like you to put in your feedback about these, these things, okay? Um, maybe from daily life experiences, or maybe you just don't agree with them or you agree, um, but I'd like you to feedback these, um, these things about communication. So one of the important things about improving your communication skills is that when we improve communication skills, to be a good communicator, it is very important to listen. So good communication is not about talking and passing on knowledge, but it's also about receiving. Okay, And it is important that we practice active listening. Passive listening is when we, when we are, for example, um, our mother's in the kitchen and she's telling us to do the laundry and that we need to clean our room and we need to do this. And we just shut her off completely. And we know that her voice is somewhere in the background. We know what she's saying, but we're not actively listening and taking it in. We're just going, oh, she's going again about it. And that is passive listening. Active listening is when we are actually absorbing, taking in the information, and we are ready to comment on that. So that is one important thing about improving our communication skills. Um, consciousness. Uh, sorry, uh, conciseness. Uh, conciseness is when we are concise, when we are straight to the point. Okay, so part of our, our communication skills is not beating around the bush and going around in circles, but being very much straight to the point. Okay, so someone who has very good communication skills, has good listening, is concise, and also uses their body language. Okay, um, it is important to have good body language. For example, eye contact. Okay, then we have confidence that comes into this and open mindedness. We can't be good communicators if we are one, one track with a one track, we, we go into something with a one track mind. Um, we need to, to have an open mind so that we can agree or even disagree, that's fine, but, but we can relate, understand, and then give our message and respect the opinion of others. If we go into something very close-minded and with a one-track mind, we're not going to communicate effectively because all that person is going to see is just one big no <laughs> and they won't understand why. But we, if we are going to say no, we must go into something very open-mindedly. Okay. And there's obviously the respect towards others and using the correct medium. Um, for example, you don't, uh, let's say, fire someone by having a text message um, sent. Um, you do that, you know, fight. if you're going to fire someone, you do it in person. So these are some very important um, communication um, communication skills uh, that one needs to have. Um, so those those are some uh, th some of the important parts of communication skills. So where do th where does this come into our life? So communication skills improves our managerial efficiency. 
It increases cooperation and organizational peace. It boosts morale for the employees. It's great because it's the basis of decision making. It gives us fluent working and coordination. So there are loads of things that communication uh, skills uh, provide us with. So what I'd like you to do now is have a little think. I know I've said quite a few things, but have a little think on the things that I've told you and comment on them or add to them or disagree with them, if you like, as long as you've been open-minded about them. <laughs> That's all that matters. Um, so anyone would like to add anything to this information? I think, Christine, you have covered most of the part. <laughs> if you're unknown, you have already let us know about it. Thank you very much. Um, any, any, anyone else would like to add anything? Yeah, I think also mm -hmm. one more thing which matters in a communication is uh, uh, knowing what you are trying to say, you know, speaking what is relevant rather than just, as you said, beating around the bush. You should know mm -hmm. what you're speaking. So I think that is also a very important part of communication. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. That is that that is a, a very good point. Knowing knowing what you're saying and believing in it and really, really, you know, backing it. That is that... also because uh, you know, the other person is in what mood we never know. So thinking before speaking is I think it's very important. Just think before you speak. Speak what's relevant. That's very good. Anyone else would like to add anything? You know, as she said, um, having a clarity on your thought uh, helps really well you know, to communicate effectively. Mm -hmm. so whatever you want to say, first we frame that in mind and then put it into words. Which which might you know help a little more to communicate effectively. Excellent, very good. Clarity. Very good. Good. Anyone else? Oh, Ma'am, then like knowing to whom you are talking and how much they are getting. Like if you use like very big big words sort of. Uh, grammars maybe they might might not understanding it like when we are talking to a kid versus when we talk with a person with our same age it differs so uh, try to know how much they are grabbing and how they are getting like what are they getting when we are talking like knowing that is also an important thing like or as we are saying something and they are uh, not understanding it uh, or not uh, they are not able to understand it that are situations like that. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Excellent, guys. So today we talked about the importance of having communication skills and where, where they are useful and why is communication important. Um, so very good, very good work. Okay, um, and uh, thank you for all the research that you do. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this class and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow and I hope you have a lovely evening, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Christine. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Christine. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye, guys.